Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, June the 27th. I'm James Spann. Coming to you today, obviously not in the usual location. How do you like the, the mic in the ice bucket? I think this is great. I'm in uh, Nashville at the American Meteorological Society uh, Broadcaster Conference. Uh, had some storms up here early this morning. Those are passing through the Birmingham Metro as I do this update. Let's go to some of the Skycam shots. These were uh, captured around the network at the insane hour of 5 a.m. And at that point, it was still raining in Cullman. The uh, batch of storms had been move- moving steadily southward during the pre-dawn hours. Uh, That's the uh, sky cam up in Huntsville where they've still got some light rain. But things look good down on the Alabama Gulf Coast at Gulf Shores and a lot of beach questions with the 4th of July coming up. Really pretty standard stuff through the weekend, about six to eight hours of sun each day with the usual chance of scattered showers and storms. Next week, uh, the storms could be a little more active. We don't expect any tropical systems, but uh, uh, the amount of sunshine could be a little more limited around the 4th of July with a deep tropical flow down there. But still, you'll, you'll get some sun. There's the satellite view this morning. Nasty heat bubble developing over the four corners. I mean, that is nasty. Phoenix could approach 120 tomorrow afternoon. That is nearing their all-time record high. But over the east, a nice cool trough. And thank goodness we'll be influenced by that. There's that batch of storms at 5.11 this morning. uh, Moving into the northern part of the Birmingham metro. Uh, that originated up, actually up in uh, uh, Indiana and Kentucky late last night, but uh, the storms have been below severe limits as they passed through Alabama early this morning. Convective outlook, uh, four slight risk pockets in one includes parts of central and south Alabama. And uh, uh, on the outflow of the morning storms, there could be some pretty active storms this afternoon or this evening in that part of the state, generally in areas south and east of Birmingham. And if uh, storms do hit the severe mark, it would be because of strong winds. And tomorrow, there's no formal risk, but we have the low-end 5% severe weather possibilities around here. So we'll keep an eye on uh, storms that form. Uh, Weather pretty unsettled today and tomorrow. Here's the rain for the next five days. You can clearly see the effect of that upper trough. The axis will be near the Mississippi River. And in advance of that trough, a lot of rain for the East Coast. And uh, in Alabama, the heavier rains... Again, basically for Birmingham south and east over the next five days. This carries us through Tuesday morning of next week at 7 a.m. And the tropics are quiet. Uh, Tropical storm formation not expected through the weekend. We'll keep an eye on things. Again, in July, things probably start to heat up a little bit, but uh, for now it's very quiet. All right, model fans, this is the GFS, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon. This is at 500 millibars, and man, look at that 597 ring. Over the deserts and the four corners, I mean, that is just bad, bad heat. You don't want to see that, but we've got the downstream trough, uh, and down below that, that's the synoptic scale. Let's look at the mesoscale. This is the uh, high-res NAM, valid today at 3 o'clock local time, Uh, and it's uh, suggesting maybe some storms on the eastern side of the state, but tonight at 7, storms become a little more active, and again, those can be pretty strong where they form as the air loft will be cooler. So uh, the next window for storms after this morning stuff will likely come uh, probably late this afternoon or this evening. All right, tomorrow, Friday, this is valid at 4 o'clock local time. Again, you can see showers and storms about, and those could be uh, pretty strong. We note by 10 o'clock tomorrow night, they kind of form into a line of storms that uh, uh, long and south of U.S. 80, and those look pretty potent. So uh, we'll just watch the radar trends. And please understand, this is model output. The, the, the radar will not look exactly like this, but it, it, this high-res NAM has done a pretty effective job with summer convection. But tomorrow, I scattered to numerous showers and storms, but not an all-day rain. All right, uh, weekend fans. Here we go, Saturday. A lot of folks are going to take off next week, being the 4th of July. You can see a very high-amplitude pattern, uh, nasty heat ridge over Las Vegas. I mean, it, they're going to be baking out there. Uh, And that ridge extends up into uh, uh, the western part of Canada. But the eastern U.S., nice, cool trough. And uh, down below that, the air stays pretty moist. So, again, we'll have scattered showers and storms on Saturday. Sun will be out at times. Temperature's probably not too bad uh, 
will struggle to reach 90. I think high should be in the upper 80s. Sunday, the uh, GFS is printing a high of only 86 degrees in July. Hey, that's we'll take that. And, uh, again, there's a little moisture around, so there could be a few scattered showers, but uh, the deeper moisture axis seems to be east of the state. So while we could see a few scattered showers, not so sure it rains a whole lot. Let's go to Monday, and, again, that very anomalous pattern continues with the upper high over Nevada, big trough over the east, and uh, down below that, one thing for sure, temperatures are going to be nice next week. Highs only in the 80s, below average. And uh, this is suggesting maybe enough moisture for a few scattered showers, but nothing widespread. Uh, the same thing on Tuesday. The really deeper moisture is east of here on those days. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, yes, a chance of scattered showers, but the deeper moisture to the south and east. And the same thing on Wednesday and a week from today. So next week, kind of moist, scattered showers, but very comfortable for July with highs only in the 80s. The nasty heat is way out west. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is July the 12th. 591 heat is uh, centered uh, all over Arkansas, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma. We're kind of on the eastern periphery of that. And again, that would suggest typical weather with some risk of scattered showers and storms. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, I'll be traveling. My next video here will be tomorrow morning. By 7 o'clock, Ashley B. will be in on the television side this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show, available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app, and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.